Welcome to our educational video on the Master Done Method. In this informative guide, we will explore the concept of capacitive contribution and provide a step-by-step -step explanation of the Done Method. This technique is aimed at helping students and researchers struggling to find capacitive contribution in energy storage applications. By the end of this video, you will have a strong grasp of the Master Done Method. Before we delve into the Master Done Method, let's first understand what capacitive contribution is. In energy storage applications, capacitors play a crucial role. The capacitive contribution refers to the percentage of stored energy that is contributed by the capacitors in the system. It is essential to quantify this contribution accurately for designing and optimizing energy storage systems. Now let's move on to the Dunn method. The Dunn method is a well-established technique used to determine the capacitive contribution accurately. It involves a series of calculations based on experimental measurements. These measurements include the open circuit voltage transient and the capacitance value of the system. By analyzing these measurements, the Dunn method allows us to calculate the exact capacitive contribution. To help you understand the process better, let's go through the step-by-step -step guide of the Dunn method. 1. Run and collect CV at various scan rates, preferable 1 to 10 MV slash S. 2. Fix a potential and read the current from different CV. 3. Plot IV slash V12 versus V1 slash 2. 4. Determine K1, slope, and K2, Y intercept. 5. Calculate contribution rate at each scan rate. Use formula IV equals K1V plus K2V1 slash 2, or I capacitive plus I diffusion. 6. Differentiate current at a certain scan rate. 7. Use the contribution rate percentage and determine new current response at each potential. 8. Determine the V value. At fixed potential, for example 0.35V. Find the current response at each scan rate and plot log current versus log scan rate. V value close to 0.5 signifies diffusion control dominates. V value close to 1 signifies diffusion limiting prominent. 9. Determine the anodic and cathodic A2 value. At fixed potential, for example 0.35V. Find the current response at each scan rate and plot current versus scan rate 1 slash 2. Anodic and cathodic are two value close to one indicates that the materials has reversible capabilities, which is significant for battery grade material. By following these steps, you can accurately determine the capacitive contribution using the Dunn method. It is crucial to note that understanding your specific energy storage system and ensuring accurate measurement techniques are vital for obtaining reliable results. Congratulations! You have completed our crash course on the Master Dunn method for determining capacitive contribution in energy storage applications. We hope this video has provided you with valuable insights and a clear understanding of this essential technique. Remember, the accurate calculation of capacitive contribution is crucial for designing efficient and optimized energy storage systems. Thank you for watching. For more educational content and helpful resources, make sure to subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell. Stay tuned for future videos on energy storage applications and advanced techniques. Until then, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep innovating.